My name's Clint Risman from Land and Water Science. I'm the Principal Scientist and Technical Director. One of our biggest pieces of work that we've been spending quite a bit of time on is physiographics. It's a bit of a mouthful, but basically it's really understanding what's under the hood. So often we just see green grass and we don't necessarily think about what's beneath our feet. Mother Nature may be responsible for at least twice the spatial variation in water quality and soil greenhouse gases than land use on its own. What that means is you could have exactly the same farm side by side and get completely different outcomes. So what we're trying to do is say, hey, what do you actually have that you need to address? So it's providing a site specific assessment of what your risks and opportunities are. If you want to know more about physiographics, you can go to our Landscape DNA website, www.landscapedna.org. There you'll find a really rich resource that you can actually use to identify your property through our map interface and interact with what your environmental controls are. So what it has is a live map interface. So you can zoom in and out, look at New Zealand, find your property, find your neighbour's property if you want, and have a look around. Geologically, New Zealand's recognised as one of the most diverse countries in the world, and we can't assume that we can treat every part of our farm exactly the same and have the same outcomes. I think most farmers are well aware of that. There's an online selection, an online tool, where you can actually identify your farm type, your enterprise type, and then look at what set of mitigations are best suited to your landscape setting. You may need to look at reducing nitrate leaching, in other areas, you may not. The amount of variation you can get from property to property, let alone paddock to paddock, is huge. And using that knowledge to invest and be strategic about your investment and mitigations is really smart. Unlike the policy that comes and goes, the soils, the geology on your farm, it's there, it's the engine room. So investing in knowledge of how it influences you, your environmental outcomes, and as well as your production is really smart. We want this to be a tool for rural communities. I don't know that there's been a sole focus or a focal point of information for farmers. And we really want this to be a tool that it's publicly accessible, but for land users to succeed in terms of the environment, we figured, you know, they need a, they need a lot more information. This is multi-billion dollar industry. Very smart business people. They want to know what's going on. So we're trying to put this information directly into the rural communities' hands because um, we think it has the potential to really help accelerate them and their success.